Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a silky satin effect. We're going to make a new file and we're just going to make it whatever. Okay, now all we need to do is go to filters, render, pattern, and sinus. Okay, here, see over here, it looks pretty dull. We don't want that, so you have to up the complexity. There we go, so you're getting better. Somewhere around six is what I like. Um, if you have a small number here, go ahead, click new seed. Um, not a big deal. Okay, go over to colors. Okay, your second color, you want to be dark, dark. Um, that's your base color. And the one on the left, you want to be lighter to give it that swirl effect. Okay, now all you need to do is go over to blend, and you want to make sure it's set at sinusoidal. And for your exponent, you want it somewhere negative zero, 0.96 is about good. You don't want it down here because then you're going to get a solid blue chunk. So, and if you take it too high, it gets too light. Take it about, that'll work fine. And hit OK. OK, that's pretty good. If you want to make it a little more defined, what you want to do is go over here and Duplicate the layer. <clears throat> okay. And on this one, you want to take it and under mode, you want to hit dissolve. Okay. And then you want to go to colors and desaturate it. grayscale effect and then you want to take your opacity and bring it somewhere around 20, 20 to 30 percent. We'll do 25, 25 works. And that's it. That's how you get a nice silky satin effect in GIMP.